very warm welcome. A request by F1 Fan Gamer. He wants me to talk about the Williams 2022 lineup. Now it's come out that Williams are financially secure. Obviously, the Williams family stepped away. Dalton came in. Um, yeah, Josh Capita, Jensen Button, a couple of people. Simon Roberts was there, then left. But who's going to drive? The Williams in 2022. George Russell is not on the photos because I believe he will be at Mercedes. So who's going to drive? For Williams, if they're financially secured, they don't need to keep Latifi. Latifi brings a big back in Lavazza, his sponsorship. Latifi has not performed since being given his opportunity. So you got the likes of Nico Hulkenberg, who's a proven, reliable driver and drove for Williams in the past. You've got Latifi, who brings a financial backing. You've got Danny Kvyat, who's got a lot of experience, uh, gone through highs and lows, but he's with Alpine at the minute. De Vries. Now, Latifi got the drive, but De Vries should have got it because he won the championship in uh, F2. He never got given an opportunity. Then you've got Stoffel van Dorn, who, again, really didn't get an opportunity in Formula 1. Had a shocking McLaren car. Then you've got Bottas, another guy who drove for Williams in the past. Um, Rumour has it that he could go Alfa Romeo, but there's always been that switch between Russell and Bottas. That would be very easy for both parties. Then you've got Oscar Piastri, Wang Yu Zhou, people like this, but they're with the Alpine Academy, so if they're going to get into the sport, it will be through Alpine, and maybe a seat comes available in a couple of years when Alonso's had enough. But if you're looking at these caliber of drivers, and now have I missed anyone? Um, yeah, you've got Jack Aitken as well, but... He's not doing that great recently. Um, Roy Nisani, he's awful in my opinion, so they won't be looking at him. But if you don't need the money now and you want pure drivers, in my opinion, Williams should go for Hulkenberg and they should go for Bottas. I would go Hulkenberg and Bottas. But if Bottas is going to Alfa Romeo, I would go Hulkenberg and Van Dorn. I think De Vries deserves a chance in Formula 1 as well. Obviously, Stoffel van Dorn, De Vries. Yeah, they didn't really get given a fair crack at Formula 1. Oscar Piastri, be interesting to see what he can do in his F2 campaign. But yeah, out of them drivers, if I'm choosing, I would go Hulkenberg Bottas. But if Bottas is going to Alfa Romeo, I would go for Hulkenberg and... Van Don, experience, Hulkenberg. Yeah, comment down below your thoughts, who you think should be driving for Williams in 2022. And who knows, Williams are not very good now, but they could be come the rule changes. Kind of crazy that we're only halfway through the 2021 season and we're already talking about 2022. But yeah, people, it's like the transfer market in football. People love, like... There's silly rumours and that. But yeah, Williams, I mean, if they are financially strong and they don't need like a pay kind of driver, then you've got to get Hulkenberg back in the car because he's a very good driver. And I would be going... Like, Total Wolf has um, kind of a say. He's already come out and said the Formula E drivers should be in Formula 1. They're good enough to be in Formula 1. So, yeah. It's Russell has Russell Hamilton in Mercedes. If Bottas goes out for Romeo, then you've got to go Hulkenberg. Um, yeah. But Hulkenberg Bottas would be a great lineup for Williams. Comment down below your thoughts and who would you choose as your drivers for Williams in 2022? Now, I, I'd be 
there's a possibility George Russell will still be at Williams, but I'm doing this on the factor that he's going to be promoted. Um, yeah, uh, he cannot stay again at Williams, in my opinion. Russell's a champion, and he's wasting his talent at Williams. Williams could become a great team again. They've not won a driver since 97. They've not won a race since the famous Maldonado in 2012. This is an iconic team, really going through some tough times. So they need to get two quality drivers in. Stop with the paid driver bullshit. And let's see some proper drivers being given up opportunity. I would 100% drop Latifi and I get some new faces in and build from there. Get an experienced driver and someone like a DeFruz of Andon. Comment below. Adios. Adios.